Hi, I'm Aaron from Four Gears, and when considering better quality audio, you first need to consider what microphone you're going to use. So this can range from the professional right the way down to items that you have in your house that you use every day. So here we go, here's my three recommendations for three microphones at three different price points. Okay, so number one, your mobile phone. It's free and this is a perfect choice if you have no budget to spend on a better microphone. Most people already have one, like me, built into their phone or you can buy one or get one for free actually on the app store. So this is great if you need to film something really quickly but you don't really need to make a video every day or if you don't really have to do it all the time. Okay, so the pros, you already own it. You don't need to go into the shops, you don't need to go and search for the best one, and you don't have to spend any more money. It's really handy, it's always on the go, you just pick it up and you go on ahead. And the audio quality from most smartphones is a lot better than built-in microphones from a camera or from a webcam. So the cons, mobile phones are just not built for audio setups. I'm fortunate enough that I have a stand for my mobile phone, but if you don't have one, well, you're either just gonna have to buy one or you're gonna have to hold your phone in your hand, which is not a good look. Second of all, the pickup pattern is all over the place. It's huge and it will pick up noise from everywhere. It'll pick it up from the back garden. It'll pick up all over the house. It'll pick up everything that's going on. It'll not just isolate your voice. and. Let's be honest, the quality of the audio is just not great. The high end and the low end performance just suffers and that's really not what you'd be wanting if you were making videos all the time. So let's get into number two, the Rode VideoMic Pro at £149 including VAT. So this is a great choice for those who have a DSLR or a mirrorless camera that want to get into vlog type videos for their social media. All of Rode's video mics have a 3.5 millimeter jack to plug straight into your camera. So this makes it really easy to use. And they have other options that start from 59 pounds uh, as the video might go, all the way up to 239 pounds with the very new video mic NTG. And you see this microphone used a lot inside the YouTube community. You could say it's kind of now an industry standard. And as you can see, I'm actually using my video mic. It's not the video mic pro. This is the 80 pounds version. This is the original video mic. And I'm using it right now to record this video. Okay, so now onto the pros. The super cardioid pickup pattern is highly directional meaning the recording is focused on the subject. So it's focused on me and it dampens the surrounding noises like lawnmowers, airplanes, and someone else talking way over there. The battery life on this microphone is unreal. It takes a nine volt battery, well, most of them do, and this gives it about 70 hours of runtime. So this is perfect for anybody who's, I don't know, not recording for more than 70 hours at a time. And finally, all of Rode's video mics come with a 10 year guarantee. So no worries about it breaking down or anything like that or having to replace it within 10 years. The video mic series of microphones all come with a foam windshield. This works okay, but if you are outside and there's anything more than a light breeze, it will pick up a lot of wind noise. So any professionals out there or anybody who's filming outside all the time, you might want to spend a little bit more money and go for a bit more high-end microphones. And third and finally, we have the Sennheiser MKH 416 Shotgun Interference Tube Microphone. Now, this is a lot more high-end as it comes in at 839 pounds and that includes VAT. This microphone is great for anyone going into professional audio but it's also a great all-rounder if you're going into podcasts all the way up to film production and anything in between. Now I don't have this microphone with me here because I don't own one but I have used it in a couple of films in the past so here's some examples right now. Seen him take down eight men at once with a bowl of stew. 
He's lost his eye though since then. Speak of the devil. God oh. you mind if I join you? I'll give you a lift. So the pros of this microphone, it has a great frequency range. It's great in the low end and it's great in the high end. It's got high sensitivity, but it also has a low self noise and it's great for all climate conditions. It's also small, it has an all metal body and it's rugged. So if you smash it off anything, if you drop it, if you hit it against a tree like I did, nearly every tech, it will not break. So don't worry about that. Now, the only con that I could really find with this microphone is it is very expensive. And that's just for the base microphone. Now it is totally worth it, don't get me wrong, but you will also need to purchase other things like a dead cat, a blimp, XLR cables, boom pulling stands. You'll also need headphones and an external audio recorder. Or if you have one, a camera that takes XLR cables. Now, this can be quite a lot of money, especially if you purchase the high end versions of all of these things. But if you do, you will end up with a professional kit that's used by the pros. So there we have it, three different microphones at three different price points. Now, when making your decision, bear into mind things like how often you're gonna be using your microphone, where you're gonna be using your microphone, and what does your client expect from your brand? Remember to take that into consideration as well. Now, I could totally get audio was quite a daunting thing to be thinking about and getting into. But if you do have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to us on any of our social media platforms on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram.